The Lagos Judicial Panel of Inquiry for the Restitution of Victims of SARS-Related Abuses has presented the full report on their findings and recommendations to Lagos State Governor Babajide Somolu. The panel has, as we've seen, submitted two sets of reports, one being a consolidated report on general police brutality cases, which is by the panel, and another report specific on the report of a lucky incident investigation of 20, 20th October 2020. I'm going to constitute a four-man committee very immediately, which will be led and headed by the Honorable Attorney General, um, the Commissioner for Youth and Social Development, the Special Advisor Works, and the Permanent Secretary, the Cabinet Office. The four of them will very, very quickly look through and bring forward a white paper within the next two weeks that will be considered at the Lagos State Executive Council and will be gazetted as a white paper coming from the panel of inquiry. The 309-page document revealed that at the Lekki Tollgate, officers of the Nigerian Army shot, injured, and killed unarmed, helpless, and defenseless protesters without provocation or justification while they were waving the Nigerian flag and singing the national anthem, and the manner of assault and killing could in context be described as a massacre. The panel also found that the Nigerian police force deployed its officers to the Lekki Tollgate on the night of the 20th, and between that night and the morning of the 21st of October, it shot at, assaulted, and battered unarmed protesters, which led to injuries and deaths. It further revealed that police officers 